What's up, Ready Up Live? Griska here to show you some more exclusive Halo 5 gameplay. This time I'm going to show you Breakout on Crossfire. This is a very competitive game type. 4v4, when you die, you die. It's very paintball-like. Every game starts with running starts. So you're instantly running into the action as that cool little animation there, and then the game is on. Breakout has higher lethality. That means less shields. You can easily take down people. It's a much faster paced game. You don't want to poke your head out too much. You got to be very careful about it. You got to play very strategically and work as a team. Two on two. Last man standing. One on two. It gets really intense when you're the last man standing, especially if you know you have two guys hunting you. If they work together, you are screwed. You're not going to have much luck taking them out. Everyone is watching you, and that's a scary thought. All the pressure is on your shoulders to win it for the team. Round two. Now, I play with the recon control scheme. In the last video, people wanted a little more information about that. So that means it plays like a few of the older Halo games. I think Halo 3 specifically. A is jump, you click right stick to zoom in, left trigger is grenade, left bumper is boost. That's how you use your thruster pack. That is a cluster lock kill, which is a double kill using one grenade. Round three. So you'll see I take guys down very quickly, a few shots with the SMG, and one melee, and they're dead. Easy as that. Perfect round. Two to one. Round four. Tear him up, Sparky. Something you'll notice in Halo 5 is there is very little auto-aim. You can probably tell from these videos, but you'll really tell when you play it. Halo has never had such a small amount of auto-aim, maybe in Halo CE. So it is a lot more difficult to get headshots to even hit enemy players. I recommend it to 343 that they keep it that way, because personally, I love it. It increases the skill gap, and it's, it's really satisfying when you can nail that perfect kill. And there is a medal now for a perfect kill. Killing. Won the round. Three to one. Round five. A lot of people have been voicing their concerns about the power of the SMG. It is very, very strong, and I would be okay with nerfing it a tiny bit, but maybe just reducing its range. Because <laughs> I do really enjoy it. It's fun for game times like this, especially. It's a blast to use, but it is very, very powerful, so I would not put it past them if they nerfed it. Two on one. Last man standing. Do it. Vanquish. You won the round. Now, I have it set to hold to clamor, and in the case of recon control scheme, which I use, if you hold A mid-air, when you reach a ledge or an obstacle, you will climb over it. So you do need to press that button to do it, which I think is good so you're not accidentally climbing over everything. But by having to hold the button on the way there, it prepares you for the climb. It is under fire. Three on four. So you'll notice there that the range was really reduced on the SMG. It's hard to get a kill from that far away with it, and that's when you want to use your pistol. But it's strong still. So there you go, that is a full game of Breakout. Some people were actually complaining about this little end scene where they're high-fiving each other, and for you I will say, go play Spartan Ops from Halo 4, or watch some of the cutscenes there. Spartan 4s are a lot different, assuming these are Spartan 4s, and they're a lot more buddy-buddy, they're more human, they're more disposable, and they are like this. They will high-five each other and they'll crack jokes at each other, so they're really catering to that. This is just a training simulator, as evident by this level. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, I still have some more gameplay, not as much as, as solid rounds as this one. These two were pretty good games of mine. Uh, unfortunately, the earlier games, there is that learning curve, so you really gotta figure it out, so they may not be as awesome, but if you guys are still interested, I can upload them, just don't expect me to be as awesome 
as these games are. So be sure to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys next video. So the SMG is actually incredibly powerful. Very, very powerful weapon. The AR is very general, and the SMG, it's, it gets a little better when you scope it, when you zoom in.